This guy, this guy used to be called Birdsboro. He used to make cool videos. But when the world needed him the most, he disappeared. Jokes on you, nobody needed me or missed me. Mm, hi there bros, my name is Birds Bro. Long time no see. Today I'm gonna show you how to remap the power button on your Samsung Galaxy device to Google Assistant. Well, what's so special about this tutorial? We're gonna use stock apps. That means Bixby routines, yes. Why are you still here? Oh, you want me to bring you the video? Oh. All right, so here we are. Now, first thing first, we need to make sure that your device has Bixby routines. In order to check that, go to settings, then scroll down to advanced features, and then scroll down, and if there is a Bixby routines button here, then you're good to go. If it doesn't, well, Either update your device because it's outdated or you just can't do it. Sorry about that. So first we need Samsung Routines Plus. You can install it from the Good Luck app, but for most of us it's not available in our country. So I'm gonna show you the universal method on how to install it. And in order to do that, go to the link I have provided in the description. Scroll down and install the one on the top that is the newest version. Tap on it. Scroll down to the download button, tap on it again, then download it. After the download has been finished, go to the file explorer of your choice and go to where you have installed it. Usually it's downloads. Here it's showing at recent for me. So tap on it, settings, allow from this source. You may disable it later and then install. Now tap on done and you need to open Bixby routines now. Go to settings again, go to advanced features and there Bixby routines. Go to add routine just to show uh, my power button does this. It opens Bixby, don't judge. So go to if plus and scroll to the bottom and as you can see there are two new options named Routines Plus. Tap on button action, choose the side key. I'm not sure about this, but those who have the Galaxy S10 or S9, Bixby button may show up here too, but I have an S20 and I, I haven't tested it yet. So tap on side, tap on press, <clears throat> tap on press and hold, done. Then, wait a second, where is Google Assistant? Well, go back, open the Play Store, Make sure you have the Google app installed and install Google Assistant. Install this one. After it has been installed, go to Bixby Routines, type on Functions, then open an app or do an app action. Search for Google Assistant. Here, open Assistant, tap on it. Done. Tap on next. You can do this however you want. Okay, this is how I did it. Tap on done. So we set it to press and hold side key, so. It's Google. How cool is that? Okay, Bixby is gone for good now. And you can use Google Assistant with the side key. And you know what's the best thing about this method? You didn't need to install any third-party apps that may stay in the background or drain the battery. So it's just a Bixby routine. Well, that's all here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment below and subscribe to become a pro. That rhymed, wow. If you have any questions, comment below. <laughs> Bye. Look at the view.